Hi guys, it's Amanda. Can you see me? It's kind of weird lighting. So I just got back um, home. I've spent the last couple hours hanging with my kiddos, but um, I'm back and I'm about to get them to bed, but I wanted to do a quick update for you guys first. So just a couple things I want to talk about. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages asking people, um, people asking what I'm going to do next and also like how the competition went. And the first thing I want to say is thank you so much for all of your guys' support. You know, um, this was a huge step outside my comfort zone. It's not something that came easy to me. And you know, I got to tell you the biggest thing that I, my biggest like takeaway from this it's kind of crazy. So when I was in getting ready for this, I was in this group of other people preparing for this competition, other um, coaches that were going to compete in this classic competition. And although I will say that I probably had 40 pounds on most of the people in the top 10, most of them were under 120 probably, I'm 165. 165 a jacked muscle, but still 165. And I will say, sup Joanna, my beautiful hostess. Thank you so much again. Um, I will say that one of the biggest impacts and takeaways that I had from doing this was that um, there were people in this group that I saw that looked phenomenal in their pictures. Amazing. And I started to self-doubt. And you know, you've probably seen me post before that comparison is the thief of joy, which I think is the most true statement of anything that I have to constantly remind myself, whether it's my coaching business or my fitness journey, that if you're looking at what other people are doing and you're holding yourself up against them, you're comparing your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20 right? You can't do that. You, you have to start with where you're at and, and not compare and say, well, Amanda did this and Amanda went on this contest and Amanda did this. For me, I have to can't, I can't look at someone and say, well, look how ripped she is. We've all been comparing to this, preparing for this contest. Sorry, I'm tired from traveling, preparing for this contest for the same amount of time. Well, some girls, that's not true. Some girls have been preparing since last year and some girls have been preparing for 18 weeks. I did it in nine and I did the best I could and I didn't skip a workout. I didn't always master my nutrition. I had a couple incidents involving Girl Scout cookies and also ice cream sandwiches like four days before the show. I woke up the morning of the show. I know TMI, but finally started my period a week late, so I was super bloated and crampy and miserable, and the last thing I wanted to do was put on that teeny, teeny suit, you guys. Like, I feel like crying just talking about it. It's the last thing I wanted to do. I worked so hard, and to have that happen that day, and to just, it was the last time in the world I wanted to be half naked. It was like, really? Really? And have this big bloated tummy and everything? But you know what? I committed to doing it, so I did it. And... What I was trying to get at is looking at some of these other girls' pictures, um, I felt like I didn't belong or that I was way out of my league or that I had no business being there. But let me tell you something interesting that happened. I got a... Thank you, guys. I got a, um, a picture or two with a couple gals that I know that also did it. And when I was looking at the pictures afterwards... It blew my mind that in a couple of these pictures, me and the other girls looked the same, like similar, like similar size. It didn't look like one fat girl, and one skinny girl, or one ripped girl and one out of shape girl, or, you know. So this was a huge like mind blow to me because I had changed my mindset around and I viewed them as way smaller than me until I saw them in person. So even though I felt confident about how I looked, and thank you, Lindsay, for saying I looked great, even though I felt confident, other than waking up that day all bloated, but that's a whole nother story. No one's going to feel confident in, this, in an eye patch of a swimsuit on that day. No woman. Um, but <laughs> you look, uh, y'all, she appeared so confident. Oh, thank you. Um, but like seeing those people and realizing that we looked very similar in size next to each other, 
made me realize that my work on myself isn't done. Like I, I feel confident and I know a lot of you think I am so confident because I'm sharing my pictures and my journey all the time, but that's just me sharing where I'm at right now and things I'm constantly working on and I don't feel confident all the time. I have doubts. I mean, standing next to these teeny girls in these teeny bikinis was hard for me and being in a group with people with personal trainers, watching them prep or even people taking all these supplements and here I am eating all this food. But I'll tell you something else that happened. Um, there were some people I came across who did not feel well, who were very, very, sick in my opinion um, who were they had depleted themselves so much before the finals to compete that they were um, dizzy and tired and angry and hungry and they weren't the parents they wanted to be um, the weeks leading up to the competition and I'm very proud to say that I didn't do that uh, to the best of my knowledge. I can't say I didn't have a crabby moment, but I have crabby moments all the time, you guys. I'm not a, I'm not a great mom and all the time, and I have a temper, and I, and, I, and I lose my shit, and I'm tired all the time. But you know what? I didn't, like, starve myself to the point that I was a jerk to my kids, and I didn't um, stop eating so much that I felt um, guilty if I ate anything. And, uh, you know, I just continued on, and I'm proud of that. So that's my overall reaction. Probably my two biggest takeaways is that um, I'm proud of the way I did it. I had integrity. I did what I set out to do, which was clean eating and exercise. And I do believe that I changed my body a lot doing that. And I stuck to my guns. I didn't use any supplements in the entire process other than my vegan Shakeology and the Beachbody Performance line. And the Beachbody Performance line is actually NSF certified, so it's approved. It's the official sponsored um, supplement line of Ironman triathlons. It's approved for um, collegiate and professional athletes, so there's nothing hokey there. It's all natural. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch it. So that leads me to my next thing. People have asked if I do another competition, and I have been toying this whole time with will I do another competition. There's actually a big one in Spokane called Night of Champions coming up in about 11 weeks, which would be another short prep, and then coupled with the prep I just did, a very long one. But one thing I have learned through this process is that I don't believe that NPC competitions are for me. Um, there's a lot of drugs. There's a lot of things. Does it have soy in it? The Beachbody stuff? No. Everything Beachbody is soy free. Um, I'm a big proponent of avoiding soy unless it's non-GMO, you guys. Um, just if you want to know why. And you can look on my blog. I've written articles about it before. But soy is um, genetically modified. 90% of what you'll find in the store is genetically modified. So you have to make sure it says non-GMO. Um, it is it's proven to cause... Uh, breast cancer, gynecomastia in men, early menopause in women, early periods in young girls. So I avoid soy unless it's non-GMO, but that's a tangent. And no, all beach body products are 100% soy free. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't touch them. The vegan formula is made with pea, protein, and quinoa, stuff like that. And the regular is the highest quality whey protein. So uh, message me if you want to know more about that. I don't want to tie up this video with that. But back to what I was talking about. So doing a competition. I am not going to do that competition. Um, I have set a different big goal. If you follow me at all, you know you've probably seen me hashtag I hate cardio about 8 million times. My goal is I have registered for the Portland Half Marathon because <laughs> I'm a psycho uh, in early October. So that's what I'm going to be training for. I'm going to try and teach myself to run, but I'm not giving up my beach body workouts. What I'm doing is... Ta -da! Hi-yo. Dun, 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 dun. The best program ever. Uh, not the best program ever. You know I'm in love with them all, especially Sean T. But Pio is amazing for people with injuries. It's amazing for flexibility. It's amazing for runners. And after lifting heavy weights all this time, I feel like it is just what my body needs to take a break and do this. And that's going to be my next 60 days, which coupled with my training for the, the half marathon will be um, pretty good for my body, I think. So I'll be doing Pio, and I'm going to lean forward. You're such an inspiration. Oh, you guys, thank you. Christy, you have never wavered from the person you are on the inside. Thank you. That's awesome. 
the full marathon, Lindsay, you know, um, I, I'm not so convinced my body or my knees are made for 26 miles. I'm not so convinced I'm made for 13.1 miles, but you know what? Uh, if I roll my ass across that finish line, drag myself by the fingernails, I will call that a success. So now you know that's my next big goal. It's the first weekend in October, so I better get to work so I can save up some money to get there. Um, so some of this bulk you see might be lost a little because I'm going to stop lifting weights for a while. But here's another thing I want to say about my competition. I did not want to get huge ripped. Yes, I have big muscles. Yes, my back. Yeah, I know. It looks great. <laughs> but I still look good in the dress. I still feel feminine. I still have curves. I still look like my husband's wife. Um, I still feel confident. Uh, well, at least a hell of a lot more than I used to 100 pounds ago. But I still feel confident. Um dressed up and feminine and that's why um, I'm more into a lean physique look than I am like a huge bodybuilding look so yes I have a lot of muscle mass and that's my body type but um Pio that's what I'm gonna do it's great for people like me with these sore joints um, anyone with injury anyone who needs to modify anyone who runs like I said so I'll be doing 60 days of Pio my challenge group starts in exactly a week I will be following my same eating plan I have been doing for two years that helped me lose this hundred pounds which is the 21 day fix containers they're modifiable to go with any program so I will be doing my vegan chocolate shakeology like I always do and my containers for food and I will of course go right back to sharing with you guys all about what I'm eating and my recipes and stuff and I'll be sticking to my guns following this program and then trying to maybe drag my carcass on the treadmill once in a while or out in the neighborhood for a run while the weather's still good and prep myself for that half marathon and like I said if I can finish it I will consider that a success after that Next year's classic, same competition, um, Coach Summit is in New Orleans, you probably saw me announce, and there will be another classic competition there, and I do think that I will compete in that again, because it is all natural, and it is, um, I would like, if I do it, I have to do it to try and win. So there will probably be some disappointments and failures along the way, but if I do it, which I'm basically, yes, I will do it. I am going to go full force. So probably back into Body Beast or maybe the new Quarter Force program that's coming out in November. Um, that'll be the next uh, work up for it. But yeah, I think I'll do it, but I have to like, I can't do it just to say I did it because I did that this year. Um, this time if I did it, I would do it to win. And if I didn't come home with a trophy, I would be disappointed. So that's for later. Right now is recover. Let my body recover and recuperate. Use this program, Pio, which if you want to join my group, send me a message. As soon as this video is over, I'll get back to you. Um, you can do 21 Day Fix. You can do the new Country Heat. You can do Size. You can do any program you want. We'll follow the containers. I have little prizes for everyone who's joining the next group, little bracelets to help you track the containers. And I just want to make this a freaking rocking group. And it will be great to have support from you guys while I get back into my normal plan and to help um, motivate some more people maybe find some new coaches for my team who want to go to New Orleans next year maybe just um, people who want to train with me for that competition and just balls to the wall with me um, anybody can do this guys anybody can be sitting right where I am if you haven't watched my old video on YouTube I know I should make a new one um, but you should watch it because I was just a mom just a mom who was depressed and overweight and didn't know what the heck to do and I just felt lost and now I'm someone who finds goals and goes for it a hundred percent. I'm someone whose biggest goal is helping other people. And um, I'm someone who's, I don't, I can't give up on me because people have faith in me as their coach. So I can't give up on me. That's not even an option because I sure as hell am not going to give up on them. So, you know, I don't know, coming out of uh, this competition, that's my biggest takeaway is I did a good job, I did what I set out to do, I stuck to my guns, I followed my nutrition, I did it all naturally, I didn't quit, I didn't give up, even crampy and bloated on that last day when I didn't, all I wanted to do was hide under some blankets with a heating pad because I was in so much pain, I did it. I walked across the stage in five inch clear hooker heels and I owned my shit. <laughs> So I am very proud of that. I consider it a success 
And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there. I'm gonna do that next year. I'll probably start training hard for it about um, sometime in December or January. But for right now, I'm gonna do 60 days of Pio, give my body a break. I hope some of you wanna do it with me. And um, you've seen me post many times that every time I do, like I don't know that I've said this exactly, but every time I do a Pio workout, I feel like my body literally says, Thank you like seriously it thanks you because all that synovial fluid in your joints all this connective tissue gets worked it's like an active yoga you're not standing on a yoga mat not moving which I love yoga but this is like move your body and make it feel good and get some active movement in, and get that tissue going and and rehab some injuries Do you know that a lot of injuries people think they have that are chronic injuries are actually due to lack of flexibility because the joints aren't being used properly um, and repeatedly and strengthened. So doing a program like this will help everybody. I know that um, with my knees, I didn't think it was possible, but there are new programs. There's Country Heat, like I said, there's everything. You can do whichever you want to join this group, and um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We're gonna use the My Challenge Tracker app, which is an independent app, so you don't even have to get on Facebook to check in. It helps you log your Shakeology. It helps you log your workout for the day. I post in there every day, and I check in after my workout every day. So I will be sharing with you and helping you every step of the way. You can check in on that app every morning and say that you did your workout. You have a direct line of communication with me as your coach and everyone else in the group. So I'm pretty excited for that. And like I said, Anyone with an, an, an iPhone or an Android phone can use this app. It's free. All you need is an invite code from me. So um, I'll put you in the group and um, we'll do this together. And if you want to do Pio with me, more the better. That's 60 days. So it's August 1st. I'm going to start the group next week, August 8th. And that will take us right through August and September. So you'll get through that end of summer month and that first month of school. And get that habit in now while the schedules are changing that you do something a little bit every day that helps like move you towards your goals create the habit now because we all know we have a weird schedule in the summer we think summer's great and it's gonna be great when it gets here and then our kids are so damn busy we're running like a hundred directions and we stop taking care of ourselves so school gets back in and we have a routine and I don't want you guys to wait till afterwards and then Christmas is coming and you're like why didn't I work on myself sooner let's do it now let's do it together let's move forward and um, you know what give it a try you never know it might be the thing for you that it was for me that changed my life that daily support that really solid nutrition changes everything and you know I guess that's all I got so yeah that's how I feel I feel pretty good um, and I feel like next year I might do the same video bawling because I didn't come home with the trophy but I think like I said, starting around Christmas, the new year, I'm just going to hit it hard and train for that thing. And I'm going to give it 100% all I got, and I'm actually going to go go in it to win it. And they might not be looking for my body type, but I'm going to make them want my body type. <laughs> because one thing I've learned is I get to create my body type. I used to call myself a pear shape and big boned and all that business. That's just... BS that we put on ourselves because we want to believe that we're stuck where we are and it's not true It's not true And if you wake up in the morning when you kind of feel like you need a little motivation I'm telling you this lady right here. I Listened to her podcast Shalene Johnson. I posted her little dance video the other day when she that's how she starts our meeting because that's her coping mechanism to get her mind right she is so positive I feel like when she talks to me I've done her workout program Shalene extreme the weight program I feel like when she talks to you, she is like literally telling you that you deserve to take care of you and she believes in you and you're like, okay, I got you girl. I believe in me too. Let's do this together. So she's really good. Really good. Uh, she speaks to you like right through the camera. Um, and I've met her in person and she's phenomenal. So anyways. That's all I got. If you have more questions, you can post them below this video. I'll try and answer and respond to all your comments if there's anything I didn't address. But, um, oh, and someone asked me what I weighed. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't have a scale there. I don't know what I weighed, but I'm thinking my weigh-in weight was about 161. I was a little below that, like 157, maybe 158. And then, boom, Mother Nature. So probably 161, 162. Um, 
And today, coming home, probably closer back to my normal 165. And yes, I ate. I ate ice cream. I ate my barbecue. And I had a good time. So proud of me. I'm proud of you. I hope I answered your questions. And thank you again so much, Joanna, for hosting me. My coach, Tanya, for encouraging me. My wonderful mentor and coach, Lisa, who literally talked me off the ledge a bazillion times and told me it was okay when I ate ice cream sandwiches, even though it really wasn't. And all of you guys, you know, some coaches and some people get a lot of hateful messages. I have to say, uh, some people get a lot of hate mail or comments or whatever, but I feel that that's because they are more salesmen than um, inspiration, I guess. I guess I feel like if I'm in it for the right reasons, uh, and I and I have integrity and, and do it to help others Then that's my focus and that's probably why I don't get a lot of that negative feedback um, Because I told Daryl in the very very beginning if I can help one person not feel the way I used to feel Then it's all worth it. I don't care about the money. I don't care about anything else I'm gonna drink this stuff for life because I love it I'm gonna do these workouts because I love how I feel when I do them So I'm gonna do that anyway, but if I can help other people then every single Every single moment and every uncomfortable story I've shared and every slip and mishap and failure and effort and success is worth it. All right, guys. Love you. Hope some of you are coming to Super Saturday this Saturday in Spokane if you're local. I will see you there. We're going to do a country heat workout. That'll be fun. I'll be feeding you all sorts of new Shakeology recipes because I just stoked because I got some new ones at Summit that I want to try, like a watermelon cooler and probably my favorite vegan chocolate peanut butter because I just can't live without it. And we're going to dance some country heat and I hope to see some of you there. And message me if you want in this challenge group and I'll set you up and send you a code for the uh, app and we'll do it together. Now, I'm going back to my kiddos, guys. Love you. Bye. If I can finish, figure out how to do this.